Having geothermal energy that is renewable and clean and using it for heating and cooling, uh, which I have a bunch of friends in Denver that have done these on small projects. So in, in, in small places, it no question it works and no question it's cost effective. Geothermal energy of all the, the wide array of possibilities is the cleanest and I think at this point has the, the most immediate potential to really address the climate issues that we're all trying to deal with. Cheap energy that's reliable, it's not going to go in cycles or you can't have two weeks of cloudy days, absolutely clean. Anybody who's got a kid who has uh, asthma knows that you know, pollution is the curse of so much of our energy. What's going on here in Hayden, Colorado, with Bedrock Energy, they're building at scale a geothermal project that is going to demonstrate that you can cool and heat you know, hundreds and thousands of homes uh, at a competitive price. This is one of those first opportunities for us to really look uh, at, at a large scale effort to get into geothermal. It's, it's an energy that's really, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, it's under most of, you know, 80% of the United States is ready to do geothermal. We just have to go out and prove that it works and that's what we're going to do here.